moment, I realized that I was grown, but not up, just different. Maybe a little defiant and rough, but grown, which I guess is enough. I remember the first piece of advice that I got from a woman who was not a blood relative when she found out that I walked home from work after dark every night. This advice was not to listen to music, make sure my long curls weren't braided or in a ponytail so that if somebody grabbed my hair, I could get away. I squared my jaw in shock and awe, firstly, because I realized this advice was useful. Secondly, because I knew this advice came a little too late for me. That was the moment I was grown. Not up, but different, and alone but surrounded, and not alone but surrounded, because every woman, at least in some way, knew that difference. I quickly filed this advice into the back of my mind next to the rest of the things that I wanted to ignore. The next time I remembered it, it was too late again for me. But this time it wasn't a stranger. It was a friend who had placed a ring around my finger and sworn to love me till death do us part. This time the damaged part of me was not my cervix or my mental stability, but my heart and I realized that I was grown and this was my burden, the one that made me different instead of older. Wiser but frightened into silence because we were in a relationship and so it was not great. I realized that I would continue my stunted growth until I learned to speak again and again until four hearings later. Four different judges later, two attorneys later, I was heard. I finally had grown from a child on her way home from her weekend job and a teen who was afraid to leave her first love, her high school sweetheart, her high school rapist, to a woman on her way to being a voice that would never be silenced again. Thank you.